hunting has been outside of God and family, probably the most important thing that's ever happened to me. Uh, it, it has not only taught me about wildlife and conservation, it has taught me about me. It has taught me who I am. And we have tried to, my wife and I, Darlene, to, to do the same thing for our children. I mean, you know, the farther we get down the line, the farther people get disconnected, the farther we become more civilized, the harder it is to get back to who we are. His last name should be familiar to you. The name Cabela is synonymous with one of the largest outdoor retailers in the United States. Yet Dan came from very, very humble beginnings. A family that loved the outdoors. A family passion turned into a business because they absolutely loved hunting and infused that love into their son. It was those early years hunting with his dad, uncles, and their friends that stoked the fire for Dan becoming a hunter. I grew up in uh, Sydney, Nebraska, a very, very rural area. Um, Cabela's started uh, in, in, in the kitchen of my parents in, in 1961 and uh, was a very modest company for, for, for many, many years and, and, they, and they worked day and night. Uh, primarily when, when I was a child, when I first was exposed to hunting and became a hunter, we hunted mostly uh, waterfowl and, and upland game. And uh, I can still remember, you know, uh, you know, five, six years old going to uh, sit in the goose blind with my dad and his relatives and friends. And I would have my BB gun. They would have their shotguns. And uh, the camaraderie was great, and you know I wanted to be that adult, that that hunter. You know that that's something I wanted to do. And we would all shoot, and I'd shoot my little Red Rider, and a goose would fall out of the sky, and they'd be like, "Great shot, Dan!" And and I and I thought, you know, in that moment, I thought, you know, I I really did it. But looking back now, you know, it, it was really them trying to expose me to their way of life. And uh, I, I'll never forget those days. I, I mean, it, it's what started me down the path. It, did I understand it at that point? No. From those early BB gun memories, the ethos of what hunting means to him has carried forward throughout his life. Today, hunting is so much bigger. It shows him what is needed to conserve wildlife, what is needed to protect the thing his family values so much. And through it, he promotes the value of hunting to his children and to the people he interacts with. If you had the opportunity to talk to a non-hunter who really doesn't have a perspective one way or another of whether you hunt or not, what would be the thing that you want them to know about you and that is a function of us as a community? Well, I, if I were speaking to a non-hunter and wanted them to have a better understanding of, of us as a hunting community, the spiritual and the, the, that part of things, I, I think you have to do it to understand it. Uh, you know, so what I would do is stick with things like facts. You know, what, what has hunting done for wildlife? Uh, what has hunting dollars done for wildlife? What has hunting done for conservation? How many wild spaces has hunting dollars protected from national parks to uh, endowments to donations? And then I would say, is it your interest to love wildlife and expand wildlife? Or do you just hate hunting? and that lifestyle because if you really love wildlife and you want to expand wildlife hunting is one of the most powerful conservation tools that exists on the planet it's been proven time and time again you, you know you 
you kind of live it, you know? So it, to speak from the heart, I kind of feel like I'm always talking from the heart, you know? Um, I would say that, uh, you know, people often ask me, you know, what, is, what was my favorite hunt or what was my favorite animal to hunt? I would say I have favorite moments. I mean, I think hunting is a moment that stays with you. I think it becomes part of you. And uh, those memories uh, and those moments, I cherish all of them. I, I can't think of <laughs> I, I, failure, you know, when you, when you think about failure. Hunting teaches you more about failure than many things in life because you fail at such a higher percentage than you succeed. And it's learning about those type of things through the wildlife experience, through participation, through being out there, through trying to understand greater our relationship to these animals and trying to understand who we are. My name is Dan Cabela. I come from a family of hunters. I am a father and a conservationist. Everyone has their own story. This is mine. It's in the blood. I am a hunter, a father, and a conservationist. This is my story. And now I don't remember anything else I was going to say. That's a practice run. <laughs> <laughs> the first half was solid. <laughs> <laughs>